One of the coolest experiments I ever did on this YouTube channel is this paper electromagnet. This was done by drawing a spiral coil on a piece of paper by using conductive ink. Now, the company that made the conductive pen that I used, Circus Scribe, has reached out to me and told me they would like to send me something to help me evolve this idea a little bit better. Fancy. So, thank you, Circus Scrape, for this plotter. What I need to do now is figure out how this thing works, then measure the resistance of the ink to find the parameters of the new coil. I think I also need a bigger table. <laughs> Okay, so so far I have tested three tests. One testing the blade cutter. The other test was my first attempt in trying to draw a spiral coil, um, which in the second pass got too thick. And in the third test I tried to draw a larger coil, which sort of turned out okay. The next step is going to be to try and draw these coils with conductive ink. Circus Scribe did not just send me a plotter, they also sent me a lot of conductive pens, their developer circuit kit, and also a drone. But for this project, I'm only interested in the conductive pen. They sent me two types of conductive pens. The first one is the same as I used in the previous video, which has one ohm per centimeter. And the second one is a new prototype that they're working on. Let's test these out to see if they have the same properties. To compare these inks, I'm going to first draw a five centimeter line and measure their resistance. The original ink is around 25 ohms, while the other one is around 9. These values differ a little from what was defined by the manufacturer, which is 1 ohm per centimeter, but I guess it depends on the thickness of the line. The next step is going to be to try and plot the coil with both pens. This will be the final proof that the swishable pen is more efficient. However, I'm not 100% sure if the plotter will work with it, so let's try it out. So, we have made two identical coils with two different inks. Let's see by how much this is more efficient. So, for the first coil, I'm measuring a resistance of 2.1k. And the squishable ink coil is getting 1.67 kilo ohms. I was expecting the results from this pen to get a little better, 
But what I need to do now is play around with the number of turns of the coil and maybe even different line thicknesses to make this more efficient. I also got an email from Circuscribe saying that if you heat the ink, the conductivity improves. And this actually works because when overdriving the coil with 30 volts, the current starts increasing, which means that the resistance goes down. And this drift in resistance is permanent. Okay, so this is the new prototype and this is how it compares to the hand-drawn prototype I made in the first video. This new prototype has 15 tears and I'm powering it with 12 volts. Now the main issue I had with making this is aligning the print of the blade with the print of the ink. The plotter cannot see and mark fiducials because they don't have any visual feedback, so I had to manually align the two prints. This means that all the prototypes got printed due to an offset, which is kind of annoying, but at least it's better with what I had in the first video. I have found that the squeezable pen is also very suitable for making vias in the middle. By squeezing the pen, the hole gets covered with ink, which makes it a much better technique to create a via. I have also tried to do a two-layer version, but this was even a larger challenge to align. double layer printed coil has twice the number of turns as the single layer version um, which also means that it has a higher resistance to get the same resistance as the single layer version to reduce the number of turns which also means that it can get even smaller now if you compare it to my flexible PCB actuator it is not as efficient uh, since it's not made of copper and has a larger pitch the paper actuator is also not as professional as my flexible PCB actuator because although I designed this thing, it got manufactured in a factory and this thing was made here in my lab. But it was a very fun experiment to try out and you can even try it out yourself. Now I don't want to end this video like this. There's a lot of things you can do with this paper electromagnet. One concept I had is making a paper motor and convert it into a clock, but I think I have a better idea. <coughs> actually fly. It's more of an art project rather than a robotic one, but I'm still very proud of how it turned out. It got a little messy during building it because somehow the pen got punctured. I guess I squeezed it too much and unfortunately the other pen ran out of ink. So I had to use the ink that got out of the other pen. But after all the concept worked and it got to flap its little wings. I would like to say a final thank you to the folks at CircuitScribe which gave me all this new equipment to play around with this technology. These guys also told me that they're trying to put this conductive ink on inkjet cartridges which would eliminate the need of this plotter um, and make things a lot easier. But that's still in the prototyping phase. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I had so much fun making and experimenting with this um, paper actuator thingy. Um, I would also like to announce that I made a Patreon page. Some of these projects that I make are really expensive, so it would mean a lot if you can support me. So that's it for this project, see you in the next video.